If you're having issues printing with your Canon printer, stay tuned because today we're going to be going into a solution for that problem. Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with Best Printers at bestprinterstech.com. Here we've got the Canon TS7520 and I'm going to be showing you how to fix it on your own. Now this applies to you if you're not able to print at all, you're printing blank pages, uh, your certain color is not printing out, or you have an overall just diminishing of quality with your prints. The problem you are having is dried up ink in your print head. Now all these terms might seem a little foreign to you, but I'm going to explain everything in this video. Another thing I'll explain is how to use the uh, Best Printers cleaning kit. There will be a link for it in the description below. I'll let you know right off the bat. It's going to be the very first link in the description below at any time during the video. Go down there, order yours. We have extremely fast shipping. It can arrive within a day or two. But basically what you're gonna get is a 20 milliliter syringe and 100 milliliters of cleaning solution. I'll go into how you're gonna use this later on in the video. Okay, stay tuned from the beginning all the way until the very end because I like to share a lot of information and all of it's very relevant to you being able to solve this problem. Also, there's gonna be links for other products and services in the description below. Look out for those. I try to organize everything the best I can. Also, if you have any questions at all about the uh, process of what I'm doing here in this video, you can always comment below and I'll do my best to respond to you. Now, if this ends up being helpful to you, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Okay, but that's all I've got for now. So without further ado, let's get right into this repair. All right, you guys, so these are the things you're going to want to have to complete this repair. Of course, I've already mentioned the best printer's cleaning kit, but you're also gonna wanna have some paper towel, uh, you know, a rag and some plastic gloves. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your settings, uh, your maintenance, and then you're going to do the print nozzle check pattern. This is a really important step because uh, this is going to show you which colors you really need to work on. Once you get that report, you're going to want to take a look at it and you're going to circle any areas that you see are deficient. Really you want to determine which color is the worst and that's really the one you're going to focus on. Once you're done with that report, you're going to lift the top of the printer and your, the print head should come right to the middle. That's exactly where you want it. Once it's there, you are then going to unplug the printer via, of course, with the power cable. This will not cause any issues. I've done this hundreds of times. Okay, and at this point, you are going to want to remove the ink. Now, I'll spend a second on the ink. Uh, because if you're having this issue, it's most likely because you are running your ink dry. Sometimes you can check in the system and it'll show that you have enough ink when in reality you don't. And so this dried up ink ends up clogging up the print head. Now what I suggest is you starting out with a fresh set of ink cartridges. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below for some uh, remanufactured versions of this ink. It's going to be cheaper for you. That is your print head there. And uh, you can take a look at it, take a look at all the colors, but then you're going to be putting a paper towel right under that print head. And to do this, you're going to have to fold it up quite a few times. Move your print head to the side, place the paper towel right under there. Really your goal is uh, to get the print head right in the middle of the paper towel. This step is important because uh, the paper towel is going to collect all of the ink and uh, uh, cleaning solution that's going to push be pushed through the print head. At this point, you're going to take the report, uh, the nozzle report, right back out, and you're going to take a look at the colors that are on the print head. You're going to match them up with the, what's on the report. You're going to determine what color you really need to work on. Circle it. Do whatever you need to do, uh, and identify which one you're going to work on first. It's the most effective way to do this. You can clean all of the nozzles. It's not going to do any harm. However, you do want to allocate that cleaning solution uh, strategically <laughs> because there is a limited amount of it. This is the best method because it's usually one color that is causing the majority of the problems. Again, link in the description below for the uh, Best Printers Cleaning Kit. Uh, but at this point, you are now going to grab the 
uh, silicone tubing on the syringe and you're going to place it right over the print head nozzle. We're going to start with magenta. And when it's uh, flush, you're going to want the, the silicone tubing to be flush with the nozzle. You're going to want to grab it with your right, left, whatever, if you're righty or lefty. And you're going to begin to push cleaning solution uh, through that nozzle. Essentially what this is doing is it is uh, releasing or pushing through the uh, dried up ink that is in each nozzle. Uh, whichever one you're working on at that moment and it's uh, flushing it out with the cleaning solution that is made specifically for the print head so that it doesn't cause damage so you can uh, push about 10 milliliters 20 milliliters i would recommend two syringes full of 20 milliliters if it's really bad and if it's general at this point you'll see that the next one i do is the black nozzle now quickly you can see there on the paper towel you know, some of the magenta that uh, came through on the other side. That's exactly how that's going to look. So you move on to the second color that is giving you problems. If there is a second color, this one is black. And uh, you're pushing maybe a little bit less, uh, but still I would do a full syringe on the second color that is giving you issues. Now, if you have any leftover cleaning solution, you can then, then uh, proceed to cleaning all of the nozzles, the ones that you didn't clean yet. And that's exactly how that paper towel is going to look. All the dried up ink, all the different colors are going to be um, pretty much pushed through. And this is a good sign because that's what you need to see is ink on the other end. There's times where it's going to come out clear. And if it comes out clear, don't worry. Just keep pushing the cleaning solution through. And eventually the ink will, uh, will uh, be pushed through. So you're going to remove that paper towel. Uh, it is soiled it's finished and you're gonna throw that away then you're gonna want to grab your rag and you're gonna want to dry everything up you don't want there to be any you know leftover cleaning solution clean that print head up really well then you're gonna reinstall hopefully these are a fresh set of cartridges uh, that you've purchased again link in the description below for some uh, more affordable uh, versions of this ink this is really important and just from now on make sure you keep up with the ink check it for yourself don't trust the printer uh, you know tool that kind of shows you the ink do it yourself uh, because this is going to cause issues you know again if you don't uh, stay on top of it now you're gonna uh, go ahead and plug it back in now this next step is very very important and uh, it's going into your settings, going into maintenance, and then doing not a cleaning, but a deep cleaning. What this is going to do is it's going to push all of the ink that is in the system back into the print head. What you've done is you've flushed the print head. All the ink has gone out of it. And now you need new ink to uh, be pushed into it, back into it, so you can start printing normally again. If you skip this step, you're going to have issues printing. If you do this step, you're going to be back to printing normally again. All right, you guys, that's all I have for now. I hope that this was helpful. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and until next time. is uh, pretty much a variety of things uh, really good uh, photo printing uh, double-sided uh, document printing and you know I would say normal speed you got kind of a mixture you got your touch screen which is newer technology air printing and all of that that i've already mentioned uh, but then you've got some of the older um, technology like faxing still you're gonna have on this printer uh, not that it's not used but in the format that it is on this printer uh, basically it's kind of an older form of technology so you've got your um, kind of speakers on the uh, side of the printer there that's something i haven't noticed on other printers it's 
it says that they're voice activated on most printers that I've reviewed, but I haven't actually seen speakers, um, whether the 